So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. Hearing his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Oh. Hey everybody, it's Wellens. I thought we were gonna let the cinematic play out first, but it seems like we've just jumped right in. I didn't press start yet, this is just the prologue. If you don't know what this game is, this is Downfall, and this is a prequel to The Cat Lady, which I recently finished playing. It's a prequel, but it's a remake of the original game that came up before The Cat Lady, so this is actually made after The Cat Lady. And I think it tells the story of Joe and Ivy, who we saw living across from Susan in the apartments. That's pretty much all I know about this so far, and I, I have no idea where we're going with this. This must be Joe when he was younger, huh? Oh! We can't do anything here. I guess I went the wrong way. From the cat lady? We don't really know too much about Joe and Ivy Davis, aside from the fact that something strange is going on with them. Because we saw that one scene when they were behind that fake wall and it was kind of like, what the heck? And I guess that's why we're here, to find out what happened. Helen Road! Ah! Is that the location of the hotel? The apartment? What is now an apartment, but used to be a hotel? It's a pretty old-looking neighborhood. Is that Ivy? Hmm. Mm hmm. Wow, she's pretty. <laughs> You're going to hit on her right away? Day, huh? If you say so. Hmm, why is she sitting here by herself? I have no idea what's going on, by the way. I don't know what they were talking about in the beginning. Something about a uh, construction? Do we want to do any of these? These seem kind of sleazy. What is it like being the prettiest girl in town? Don't know. Why don't you tell me? If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. <laughs> Do you really think cats have nine lives? Do you own a cat? Well, I've seen a cat lady with nine lives. Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. Ah. I think we heard Susan talk about this cat before, right? If it is Ivy. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You are American? Cool. Oh, I keep forgetting, but this game is set in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, so Joe Davis is American. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. 
So? I just... Never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. He didn't get offered a job? Okay. She is kind of blonde, isn't, isn't she? Dirty blonde? Nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. Ice cream truck? He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? <laughs> Do you have brains in America? <laughs> this kid's voice acting. <laughs> Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside. Eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. How old are these kids? I can't tell at all. Seven? Six, seven? I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die when they're old or sick. It's really weird. I can show you. But... I should probably wait for my mom. Hmm... I think cats actually do do that. My mom used to have one and she said that right before she passed, it sort of hit itself so that it wouldn't just be, you know, passing in the middle of nowhere. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. He can fuck off. About that cat place. Yeah? Oh, I guess we have to go there. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of feel like we're kidnapping her or something. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But... I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun. Joe and Ivy met when they were so young. And then they got married. Okay. And then what happened? Alright. I guess we're both new to the neighborhood. And when you're a kid, it's really easy to make friends, isn't it? So, you just talk to some random person on the street, and BAM, you're friends. She said she likes red flowers. I don't want to look like a sissy. Oh yeah, that's so bad, right? Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful. As they are. Hmm. Is that kind of like, um, it's talking about possession? If you love something, set it free, something, something. Don't pick it. Don't pick the flower and kill it just because you want to hold that beauty in your hands. God, this guy. <laughs> You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way. Maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. Okay. Smelling them is enough, but we don't even want to do that. You know, because we're not a sissy, apparently. We both moved here, and then we never moved away. Oh! Hello? Is this... it? Yep. But... It's just one cat. And it's not even dead. Did you want the cat to be dead? 
Eh, I feel like this is the kind of thing he would say. <laughs> this one looks very old. He'll probably die soon. But that's okay. He's got at least five lives left, right? Oh, I don't know. This one looks like he's on his last one. Huh. You don't really like cats, do you? I do! I was just fooling with you. Of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Then let's go see if he likes us. Looks like he does. Aw, you're such a lovely pussycat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. What's with the sudden music change? <laughs> Feels like there's a bit of a nod to the themes in the cat lady already. Or probably it's actually the other way around. Cats, flowers. But what if it is a zombie cat? Oh, you get your hand bitten off. Looks like I'm popular. I guess cats don't really like me. Don't worry about it. I'll tell my black cat to go easy on you. I mean, if we're... If we're still friends by then. It's Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. <laughs> this kid's voice acting is a little bit distracting. <laughs> Do we have money? Brady's such a nice guy. He's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream. Oh, wow. Nice. Good way to look good in front of the girl, too. Hey, Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Mint chocolate chip? No, I don't like mint. Vanilla? Eh, coconut, raspberry, strawberry, ice lolly. Eh, we'll just do something plain. Two scoops of chocolate, please. Chocolate coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Mmm, I want to give her something for free, but I also don't want to be like, Nonsense! You must have the ice cream just because I said so. She's on a diet, right? Why not? Because... No. Just... No. Yeah, I don't want to push her into it. Don't you like ice cream? I do. She does. It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but... I can't. Does it have to do with your family situation? Like your mom? She seems pretty scared of her mom. Maybe? And her dad is nowhere to be found. She'll have the same as me. I said no. And no means no. I mean, she is not wrong at all. You should probably go after her, dude. Yeah, you messed up already. Why are you so rude? Well, she did say that! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I... I freak out sometimes. It's okay. Are we good? We're good. Fist bump. I found it! Really? Yes! It's right where he said it was. But... I kinda need your help. It's stuck under this... thing. 
What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. Wow, really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. Heck yeah, let's go get it. How did you even get in there? There's a hole in the fence. Come on, I'll show you. I almost got it, but I can't do it on my own. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Nah, let's go. Okay, lead the way, bro. Yay! Just remember, it's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. You're acting like an overprotective boyfriend already. It's only been three minutes since you guys met. It's there. Where? This way. Somebody's gonna get hurt here. This? See the big X? Oh. Oh, I thought that was a shadow. <laughs> this couldn't mean anything. Yeah, but we could at least check. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Time for the big bro to show off. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. This seems way too heavy for any of the kids here, though. Maybe even an adult. Uh, how do I back out? No. Yeah, it looks too heavy to move by hand. Oh, okay, I just walk away. Hey, I think I found what we need. <laughs> well, that was easy. It's an iron bar. Didn't think it would be so easy. Down to open inventory. Ah, so it's same as the cat lady, except it doesn't show by default now. That's nice. Get a little bit more scenery without having that thing down there all the time. Yeah, but otherwise the controls are really similar. This iron bar will be perfect for moving the concrete block. Oh. Whoa! Shit. What is it? Step away, both of you. It's grenades. A great bowl of freaking grenades. No. But where's the money? There is no money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah, but first... Let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. So proud of you guys. Being incredibly sensible. Let's go. Come on, Robbie. Oh no. No. There's a reason why... Oh, there's a reason why we don't know about this brother in the present day, right? What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but... This thing's gotta be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, is always looking for stuff like this. No, kid. Don't. Please. 
Don't do this to me, Robbie. Don't these things have safety pins? Oh, goodness. Whoa! Okay, I didn't actually expect for them to show me the body and everything. That's a little bit gory, isn't it? I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out, and the cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it. Well, that was a prologue. Wow. Uh, not sure what that whole thing was. I guess it was just detailing how Ivy and Joe met. It's kind of baffling that they can get married without talking about Robbie at all, but hey, guess they're making it work. Or maybe not, judging by what we know of the cat lady. Okay, so uh, once again, hello, I'm Wellens and welcome to Downfall. This is a prequel to Cat Lady, and this is the summary from Steam. There is nothing Joe wouldn't do for his wife, but as they try to save their marriage with a romantic getaway, things go from bad to worse, and from worse to insanity. In The Cat Lady, I'm not really sure what the heck the relationship between Joe and Ivy was. Like, I get that they're a couple, but there also seemed to be some demonic shenanigans going on as well. And Joe is doing things that he thinks he's saving his wife by, by like, electrocuting her and stuff? I don't know. I got no clue. From my research though, it doesn't seem like we should be expecting the same kind of thing as The Cat Lady. This story seems like it's gonna be much more surreal and gory. It's not like the cat lady was especially non-violent, but uh, seeing as how they were going all the way with the, the grenade explosion just now, I think that gives a sense of what they might do here. So let's continue on. I think the Cat Lady was made in 2012, and this remake in 2016. I would have wished that they could upgrade the graphics a little bit. Oh! Okay, never mind, I take back my words. That seems pretty upgraded to me. But yeah, overall, it seems like we're still on the, the more pixely side of things here. <laughs> Apparently, this series is going to have a third game, coming out in April. Maybe that's where the real graphic improvements come in, but I don't know.
Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? <laughs> it sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Are we like having a cold war or what's going on here? Ah, this is our romantic getaway. We've decided to come to this hotel? But I thought earlier, in the prologue, we were already at Helen Road. Come on, darling. Don't do this to me. I understand you've been stressed. So have I, but... But it's time to let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. So please, don't give me this silent treatment. We can start again here. We will start again here. I don't see any people around, but... <laughs> what have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and... Really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. Just not saying a single word. I don't want to say this one because it seems very... accusatory. I give up. Let's book us in. There's got to be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Oh! Remember how Susan, when she was tapping into the Joe Davis part? It was during a storm, wasn't it? Maybe that's where it comes from. Can't believe she hasn't said a single word. My goodness. Nobody here. It's hardly surprising, this time of the night. Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> the devil came through here. You know, back when we were in Joe's apartment in The Cat Lady, there was something that I didn't notice until I was editing that video. Um, Susan made a comment that one of the chairs in the apartment looked like a chair from a hotel. And that's probably because this is a hotel, right? When they moved in. Well, they moved in a long time ago then, because what? Wouldn't they force them to move out? And actually, you go to a hotel for a vacation, you don't live there forever. There's nothing unusual about it. I don't know who I could call. Lift. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. What? What did you do to him? It reads, Teacup, the key master. <gasps> Teacup? Teacup? How old is Teacup? There are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Oh my god, look at those sweet animations. Ivy? Where are you going? Cat magnet. It's a fridge magnet advertising White Haven Hotel. Black cat seems to be a theme here. How welcoming. Great. The lift seems to be out of order. This doesn't feel like a honeymoon. Or a romantic getaway. <laughs> He's very unhappy. I should get us booked in before I go upstairs. That's exotic. It's locked. Red seems to be a theme with her. Red flowers. Devil came through here. What? What is that even supposed to mean? We're not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? 
These bad people, they live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. She seems kind of possessed already. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Get away from him! I... have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big, fat, flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Okay. When she said, no, get away from him, if him is me, can I take that to mean she still cares about me and all? Because up until this point, I'm not really sure what their status right now is. Are they on the rocks? Are they gonna get a divorce or what? This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine, trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room, get some sleep, and I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Does this game also have multiple endings, like the cat lady? Because I noticed so far that, um, I think they mentioned this on the Steam page as well, but you, you are the one who gets to choose Joe's attitude. Is he like a snarky, sarcastic person, or is he trying his best here? Obviously, since we're just looking at the options, it's easy to tell which one's the calmer, more reasonable option, and I guess I'll try to do that. Although realistically, if we're arguing with our wife already, I'm sure from time to time it's gonna be like, God damn it, Ivy, just cut the crap! <laughs> can't go here. Uh, magnet this up. <laughs> nope, can't think of anything. Um, I think it's so- Whoa! Hello! May I help you? I was gonna say, I think it's okay that we go back out into the storm. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh... Like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails! Excuse me? There's a bit of red on her belt too. Although I think for this game, if an object is red, they color it to give it a bit of a flare. Uh. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, alright. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room... I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? If I say no, will you give me a different bed? Mm, I'm just trying to think of what the consequences of this is. If we have single beds, does that mean that me and my wife will drift further apart? 
Can we be a little bit selfish here? No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. In a seaside town like this, I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar, too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. A big one. You'll be much safer in Quiet Haven tonight. Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Oh. Oh, I didn't even catch on. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. I hope you don't mind. She did. Most certainly. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. <laughs> did she? I don't remember. It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. It's kind of crazy, but even though Ivy's acting kind of... We don't know what she's acting like right now. I believe her, though. I believe her. Please, let's get out of this hotel. The end. <laughs> Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. They didn't even make us pay. That's how you know there's something wrong here. Something's wrong. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you mean. It's not my fault your walls are paper thin. But we're going straight to bed anyway, so... Yeah. I really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Would 102 be where Susan is staying in current day? We don't know about the layout. We gotta check it out. Ah, so if we try to think about the layout here, the stairs, and then... With the basement? No, actually, it's too hard to imagine. Yeah, the mailbox would be right around here, and then the, the vase with the flowers. Ivy, I know we want to leave, but we can't. There's a storm outside. Oh, an elephant. There's a much bigger one downstairs. Cellar door. Cellar door. Nope. 101 to 104. What the heck? Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. That seems pretty unprofessional for a hotel. Hey, that picture there! That's the picture from the prologue, right? The one that is right above Joe's head. Hmm. What year is it? This isn't 102, so we're allowed to be in here, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, Ivy? M mirror? It makes me feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, let's go straight to bed. Why is there a giant mirror here? <laughs> oh, I thought I thought Ivy was getting stuck on the the mirror for whatever reason. We don't want to disturb her, right? So apparently we're not supposed to disturb the women in this room. The door is locked. 
One of these days, trying out every option is gonna bite me in the hand. Whoa! 101, it's our room. They said 101 to 104. Where's the other two rooms? I should unlock it first. Excuse me, Ivy. <laughs> we can push the beds together. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How the hell should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. And I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in blood. That sounds a lot like you in the future, doesn't it? Behind that wall? I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next... You're someone different, I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you... You didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. I don't want to fight. I don't know which one. The, the tone was a little bit different than what I was expecting when Joe said I don't know what to do. Because he was a bit aggressive about it. Please don't do this. Not tonight. Tonight? Tomorrow, next month. What's the difference, Joe? You were supposed to save me, but you failed. I was just trying to have a normal, happy life. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? I don't know if these are some crazy insecurities or is it the devil speaking? When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. That thing you do when you laugh? I love it. But most of all, I guess, I... We've been through so much together. <laughs> this sounds kind of like a sunk cost fallacy thing. Is that the best compliment? I like this one, and I like this one too. This one's okay, but I don't know. <laughs> Am I trying to think about this too hard? Is the game gonna be like, oh my god, you only like Ivy because she has a beautiful face? I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Can it be any other way? You like my smile? But I can't even remember the last time I smiled. And... I've stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this. And finally, you want to be with me forever. I know, I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put... Maybe I lost it. What? 
I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it, so we can both be free. Does she want us to separate because she's trying to protect me? I don't know. I feel like according to what we've seen in the cat lady, this one's canonical. And I also feel like this is the one that's gonna lead to like bad stuff and despair. <laughs> but if it's the more canonical feeling one, then... Eh. I still love you. No. That's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. Why is my wife treating me like this? 